Uh, hello guys, I purchased a uh, Samsung uh, S9 Plus mobile. So when I purchase, I can see I, I'm getting a, a message, attention, power off your device, insert the device, uh, insert the service provider UICC that came with the device, uh, then power on the device. So to uh, this, re uh, why this uh, message I'm getting, uh, there's a, a software installing the system app which because of that's why i'm getting because it's asking to activate uh through the uh, sim card which uh, was came with this original sim card so we don't have this mobile was from uh, different countries came to here so let's uh fix this one so what you do i will go to system apps so here you can see uh there's an app called this carrier hub this carrier hub you cannot uninstall uh, through your mobile you need to use a uh, different method to uninstall this carrier hub and carrier default app and another app is there uh, call or um, something let me check starting from letter O okay O M A C uh, O M A D M this app as well we have to uninstall this one we cannot uninstall we can only force stop once you restart the mobile it will come back so let's insert a different sim card and I will show you what will happen it will try to um, activate okay but you can get a receive call you can make a call but the problem is it will come the message will keep come to uh, to your screen and it will uh, drain your battery as well because of the the application is running okay so i insert the sim card you can see here the lte enables i got the signal so this is the problem it's kind of keep coming activate your device it never getting activated because the the sim card i insert it's not the compatible i mean compatible to this mobile it is the different sim card has to inst uh, insert i'm not sure which uh, sim card which network it asking but it's they were never activate but you can uh, slide it and you can use the mobile as well but you can see here in the uh, in, uh, in, uh, notification area uh, registering device with network it never get registered uh, and it's keep running in the background and the from the carrier hub application processing request it keeps something uh, coming like this okay guys we go to uh, the process how to f uh, fix this one uh, you have to install an application called package names okay why I need this one from this application you can see the package name of this uh, the application which you want to uninstall okay example I need to uninstall uh carrier default app this one carrier hub so you can see uh, com dot sprint dot ms these uh, these are the uh the package name so i need to know the package name uh, before uh uninstall so what you need you need your mobile and you need a desktop or a laptop okay so i insert the sim card it's already here you can go to uh google uh play store right now i'm not signing in you can type uh package name here it will come package name viewer you can see here this is the application you have to install okay so first you do go to settings go to your about mobile uh, yeah software information go to build number enable uh, uh, developer option okay seven times tap seven times once you tap developer, um, developer mode has been enabled okay go back go back you can see here developer option okay open it you can come down until you see usb debugging okay enable it uh press ok okay so connect your uh, usb to your uh, desktop pc or laptop and connect uh, other end to your uh, usb c okay to mobile once you connect uh, you will see allow access to mobile data or phone data allow Go to uh, menu, uh, sorry, uh, notification area. You can see Android system USB for file transfer. It has been USB to file transfer mode, okay? 
it should not be another mode it should be transferring files android auto this is a mode it should be activate okay make sure this is activated okay uh, then now i will go to my desktop i will show what is the process from there and uh, make sure if you uh, have any notification uh, regarding the usb connection make it uh, give the permissions i mean allow it okay always allow it um, and i will tell you uh, the which package make sure get the name from here okay because i will not come back to my mobile again i will show you in the desktop only so when i'm telling the package name you can select the package here okay i will put in my description area uh, you have to go to this website okay first one uh, developers and you can see here there are three uh, sdks for the windows mac linux so i need a windows i click the windows i will come here down i will select the agreement i have read that read and agree with the algo terms and conditions I click ok so it will download here open from the downloaded area right click and unzip this one extract ok then this is a file i extracted i will uh, delete the folder which i download so i have the extract one I open it, and these are the application inside ok so I, you need second you have to go to github this website also i will uh, post here if you come to github you can see here nine tags maybe when you uh when you uh go to this website maybe there are tag maybe increase maybe 10 or 11 so don't panic so under releases nine tag right now it's nine tags maybe later it will be like 10 11 tags okay so you click nine tags you can see under tags you have the latest version so when you access this website maybe this will be a change maybe there will be a different version so don't worry you click uh, download the latest one okay here you have a download okay click download and come down you can see here uh uad U, gui windows exe click it and download it okay this is the uh, exe uh, file i could download i will open it and what you do cut this fold uh, file okay and paste inside this folder which we downloaded previously okay in the under platform folder and go to this one and paste here okay and uh, go to this address bar in the folder okay type cmd open the cmd command okay so it will come to directly to the path you can see here c users my username download platform you are in the folders and the subfolder and we are in the uh, subfolder of platform tool then type this command we will have to check whether mobile is connected to your pc okay this is a command i will post in my uh, description area and press enter if you are getting uh, this error you can see here is unauthorized uh, check your mobile whether it's asking any permission if you get list of device attached this is a, your mobile serial number and device so your mobile has been connected successfully to your pc in case if you have error like unauthorized something you have to check there's no problem in your pc uh, what happened you have to give a permission in your mobile in that case what you do you go to your mobile notification area and select the android system the it will be U, uh, usb for file transfer okay open it and change uh, go to usb uh, tethering midi just interchange select something else okay then come back then you will get another notification new uh, permission allow so you have to click that one once you click that error will not come back okay just change different uh, usb uh, use loose okay so there will be transferring images, charging phone only. Just keep changing, then you will get a new notification. There's a uh, allow, so make it give the permission. Okay, once you give the permission, this will be uh, this uh, message will get like without any error. List of uh, devices attached. Okay, once you done, once you see this one, close this one and open the uh, file which we uh, paste here right click okay once you open you will see all the application which available in your android device okay 
now this is where you need to know the package name because these lists are uh, package uh, with the package name that's why you need to uh, have that application okay the package name viewer so here you have to find which application in your mobile you have to find which application you want to uninstall okay in my case i want to uninstall com.sprintms so there are so many apps you can scroll down okay this is here if you go you will see whole list so if you want to then there are category also you can select carrier if you select carrier you can see here i have this application which i need to uh, uninstall okay so i will select this application and all these are i don't want i will uninstall and there are another application okay you can click uninstall 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 so these are uninstalled you can go to uh, all list you can check any other application called like yes, this is a package i want to uninstall the second package m a g m s s p r okay in my case i want to uh, uninstall these packages only these applications so in your case you can type whatever packages the application you want to uninstall accordingly it will un it can uninstall okay so this is also the one so this method you can use for anything to uninstall not only this uh, this issue so right now i don't want to uninstall anything else these are the applications i uninstall let's so so let's go to mobile and check whether everything uninstalled okay guys so i will restart the mobile let's see whether after restarting i'm getting that error i mean not it's a, not an error is asking for activation or not okay Let me unlock. Phone is starting. I think success. I don't have any messages, anything running back from background. You can see here. I have these notifications only, which is Android system uh, for file transfer and mobile is charging. Now, successfully, I have uninstalled those unnecessary uh, apps. I will go to apps. I will go to show system apps. Uh, it was starting from letter C something you can see here the carrier hub has been uninstalled it's not no more here uh, plus there one more uh, app call starting from O yeah this only this is the application these and uh, this one ocean Person and OK Google and one uh, UI home or child these are applications so there's nothing uh, this application has been uninstalled successfully and right I will uninstall my package name as well I don't want okay guys thank you see